see first the characteristics of the sliding window protocol. Then we will see the different terminologies in this uh, sliding window protocol. Then we have uh, some techniques inside this SWP. So those we will see very clearly one by one. So let us see the what is the characteristics of this sliding window protocol. So first one is it is used in connection oriented communication. Because see we said that fast sender and slow receiver problem. So that where we will get that problem? Only in when you have the connection means if you want to send the data you need to establish the connection first then on that connection you have to send the data okay so in that connection once you establish the connection your sender will send the data receiver will receive so obviously there may be chance that this problem will arise fast sender and slow receiver so there we are using this SWP. Then secondly is uh, as we discussed it offers flow control and packet level error control. packet level error control this will be clear while discussing SWP actual concept okay then third characteristic is this SWP we are using in both transport layer and in data link layer Hope you got why we are using SWP in both transport layer and data link layer. Because in transport layer you have the flow control functionality responsibility and in the same in data link layer also. So wherever you need the flow control there we are using SWP. So that's why in these two layers are using uh, we have the responsibility of the flow control so that's why in these two layers we are using SWT function so then next one is actually this is sliding window protocol is theoretical concept it's a theoretical concept which is not implementable means it will give some guidelines and some suggestions kind of thing it's simply a reference so you cannot use it is not implementable so actual implementable things are stop and wait then go back and then selective repeat protocol so these three actually the implementable things but uh, SWP sliding window protocol is not a implementable concept so it's a theoretical concept so these are the main characteristics of the sliding window protocol then be in the continuation part we are going to discuss next some terminologies some delays we will discuss in the next further videos so before going to discuss these three in between you have to know the some terminologies like uh, delays some kind of uh, uh, timings you have to know that some definitions we have to know that so that we can understand this one very clearly so in the continuation we will see the delays in the computer network thank you